Yo, what is good YouTube? It is Ben here back with another video and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to use the new YouTube editor Now before we get into the video guys, I'm just gonna warn you right now that the new YouTube editor is absolute booty It's really bad. If you guys want to use it, go ahead and use it and watch this video But because of how bad it is, I'm just warning you guys right now I also made some new tutorials on how to add music to your videos in other ways like if you are using a Mac, you guys can use iMovie. And if you're using Windows, you guys can use Windows Movie Maker. So those tutorials will be linked in the description below. So go check those out if you watch this video and you realize how bad the new YouTube editor is. Please don't give me a dislike because of how bad the YouTube uh, editor is. I'm just the messenger. I didn't make the new YouTube editor. So please don't, don't dislike this video. Um, I really appreciate it. <laughs> and thanks. With that being said, guys, let's go over there and head over to the inside of my computer. Look at this transition. Guys, welcome to the inside of my computer. Now, Loki, that transition took me like 10 minutes to make, so please drop a like just for that transition. But anyways, uh, to access this new YouTube editor, first, what you wanna do is click on your profile picture right here in the top right corner, and then go down to YouTube Studio. And then once you're here, click on Videos on the left side and then all of your videos should pop up right here and if you guys haven't already uploaded your videos you guys want to upload your videos so that you guys can edit them inside of the YouTube editor um, if you guys don't want your your uh, viewers to see your videos yet just go ahead and upload it and make it private right here and just click Save and then uh, once you're done making your changes and everything just go back and make it public and hit Save again so uh, so from here, just go ahead and choose the video you want to edit. And in this case, I'm going to be choosing um, this video right here. So just go ahead and click on it. And then from here, click on editor on the left side. And this will bring you to the new YouTube editor. Now this is still YouTube editor beta. It's still in beta mode. So we don't know for sure if it's going to be like this forever. But for the time being, we're just going to have to deal with this new to, new uh, YouTube editor. So as you guys can see, there's not really much to work with. It looks kind of dry. And uh, <laughs> let me let me uh, just confirm that this YouTube editor is pretty freaking bad. So, uh, but there is one tool that I actually recommend you guys use in all of your videos. So just stay ahead, uh, stay tuned, and um, I'll talk about that tool in this video. So. Uh, in this case, first though, I want to talk about the trim tool right here. Um, if you guys have an iPhone, it pretty much works the same as the camera roll uh, editing, video editing uh, feature. Um, so to use this, I'm just going to move that out the way. Uh, to use this, you just drag this left bar right or left and um, this will determine where your video will start and it'll cut out this part right here that's in black and white. And then to, uh, you guys can also drag this right bar left and right to determine where you want your video to end. And then once you select that, uh, those two parts, the, uh, this middle section right here will be the entire video. Um, and it just cuts out the, these parts in black and white that are outside of the left and right bars. So this tool isn't really helpful unless, you know, you mess up in the beginning and you just cut that part out and then the rest of your video is normal, but it's not good for making cuts or anything like, that. anything like that. You guys can't make cuts with YouTube editor. And it's pretty, this is a pretty one dimensional uh, tool. It's not really helpful. And if you wanna make complicated edits or, you know, multiple cuts, this video, I mean, this tool won't, won't really help you out. So with that being said, guys, um, this tool wasn't really helpful and I'm gonna go ahead and hit clear all and it will take all my uh, edits away. So the next tool I want to talk about is the actual helpful tool, the only helpful tool in this entire YouTube editor, and that's going to be the end screen tool. And to do this, just hit add an end screen. For those of you guys who don't know what an end screen is, it's pretty much when you get to the end of the video and either, uh, either videos or uh, subscription pops up and you guys can just click on that and it will redirect you to the um, video or subscription. So once you click add an end screen, it'll, it'll bring you these templates right here. You guys can have one video and one subscribe or, you know, a link in a video and a subscribe 
or two videos, two videos and a subscribe. And lastly, two videos and one subscribe. So these will show up in the end of your video um, and it will redirect your viewers to uh, just one of them if they decide to click on them. So in this case, I recommend you guys use either uh, one of these two um, because you can fit more videos in there and also encourage them to subscribe. So in this case, I'm going to be using this one right here. So just go ahead and click on it and hit apply. Now this will automatically upload the tool right here to the end of your video. And to change the, um, to change the time where you want the uh, end screen to start, you guys can just drag this left and right. And in this case, I'm going to be doing it right here so that it doesn't cover my uh, screen when I'm still talking. So I'll bring it like right here. And to decide which videos you want to place right here, just go ahead and click on it and it will give you three options right here. You can choose from the most recent upload. It'll just show your most recent uploaded video and it will pop up right there. You guys can choose best for viewer. This is when YouTube decides, automatically decides which video would, you know, be best to show your viewer. And lastly, it is choose a specific video. Um, this is the main one most people use. Um, so you guys can just choose a specific video. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to choose this old video from years ago about the same thing uh, back when YouTube editor was actually pretty good, rest in peace. So I'm gonna be choosing this video. And the other video right here, just click on that. I'm going to be choosing another video and it's going to be um, just another YouTube editor video uh, when it was still good again. So <laughs> anyways, I'm going to be choosing those two videos and um, you guys don't have to mess with this. It'll just automatically um, be a subscription button. So you guys don't have to mess with that. So that's pretty much how you um, add the end screen to your videos. Now uh, you guys can just go ahead and um, minimize that. And you guys can see it's still gonna be there and it's gonna show up wherever you guys put it. So the next tool I wanna talk about is the blur tool. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are gonna use this much. It pretty much just blurs out, you know, parts of your video. If you wanna add a custom part of your video, you can choose when you want to blur and where you want it. And you guys can also blur certain faces, specific faces inside of your video. Um, I'm not gonna really mess with that because I'm sure most of you guys aren't really gonna use that. And if you do intend on blurring faces, you're going to be using a more complex uh, video editor. So I'm not gonna go into this much, but that's pretty much how you uh, use this feature. You just hit edit and you do your own uh, edits from there. But yeah, most of you guys aren't gonna use this and it's really, uh, it's not a very good tool uh, compared to other video editors. So lastly, I want to talk about the music audio um, tool in the YouTube editor. That's what we came here for, right guys? So fair warning. This video, uh, this audio tool is also really bad. Um, <laughs> so don't drop a dislike, guys. I'm just a messenger. I didn't, I didn't uh, make this tool. So please don't drop a drop a dislike. Just drop a like for me, guys. I really appreciate it. So, what you uh, when you click on that uh, audio button, these audio tracks are going to show up, and you're going to have a selection of different moods, genres. And uh, it's gonna tell you how long the the uh, song is. And it's also gonna have the artist. You guys can also search up random tracks if you have an idea of what you want. Now, like I said, you're not gonna be, going to be able to use your own music. That's the, the bummer part. You're going to have to choose from the music that YouTube provides. Now, like I said, if you want to add your own music, go ahead and go to the description and watch the tutorials that I have on iMovie and Windows Movie Maker. Those video editors will show you, or those tutorials will show you how to add your own music that you guys have downloaded. Um, and in this case, YouTube editor doesn't let you have your own custom music. It only lets you use the uh, YouTube music, like I said. So that's already a huge bummer. And to use this though, um, go ahead and click add to video on whichever song you want. And, and as you guys can see, the music is really good, bro. 
it's like nah, it's it's the music's pretty bad but um it gets the job done at least if you have you know white noise or just nothing no audio in your video you'd rather have this mu music than nothing so um that's pretty much how you use this audio tab you guys can remove the track if you want to change it to another song uh but for the most part you guys can't use multiple songs that's an, that's another huge uh, bummer of the audio function you guys can't add multiple songs and also you can't change the volume of the song so whichever song you choose it's going to be heard um, entirely throughout the video or, or however long song uh, however long the song lasts you're not going to be able to hear the original audio of your video this song is going to be covering the entire audio and uh, so yeah that's another huge part of this uh, new audio feature in the YouTube editor um, it's really bad um, I don't recommend you guys use this I recommend you guys either use iMovie or Windows Movie Maker if you're looking to get some basic editors edits done with your own music so that's pretty much how you use this um, this new YouTube audio it's really bad don't recommend you guys using it definitely go check out the other tutorials in the description below so um, I'm gonna leave this so that's pretty much how you use the new YouTube editor guys that's pretty much everything that goes with it now if this video was helpful for you guys please hit the like button below and also be sure to subscribe if you are new and also hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future uploads now to be honest guys I don't know exactly where I'm going to be taking this channel I don't have a niche yet but I'm going to be making a variety of different videos and find out which which one works best for this channel so go ahead and leave any comments if you want any uh, if you have any recommendations for future videos and uh, with that being said guys that's pretty much all I have for this video thank you for watching my name is Ben and I'm out peace